Rochester is a city on the southern shore of Lake Ontario in western New York. With a population of 208,046 residents, Rochester is the seat of Monroe County and the third most populous city in New York State, after New York City and Buffalo. The metropolitan area has a population of just over 1 million people. It is about 73 miles 117 kilometers east of Buffalo and 87 miles 140 kilometers west of Syracuse. Rochester was one of America's first boomtowns, initially due to the fertile Genesee River Valley, which gave rise to numerous flour mills, and then as a manufacturing hub. Several of the region's universities notably the University of Rochester and Rochester Institute of Technology have renowned research programs. Rochester is the site of many important inventions and innovations in consumer products. The Rochester area has been the birthplace to Kodak, Western Union, French's, Bausch & Lomb, Gleason and & Xerox, which conduct extensive research and manufacturing of industrial and consumer products. Until 2010, the Rochester metropolitan area was the second largest regional economy in New York State, after the New York City metropolitan area. Rochester's GMP has since ranked just below Buffalo, New York, while exceeding it in per capita income. The 25th edition of the Places Rated Almanac rated Rochester as the most livable city in 2007, among 379 U.S. metropolitan areas. In 2010, Forbes rated Rochester as the third best place to raise a family in the United States. In 2012, Kuipelinger rated Rochester as the fifth best city in the United States for families, citing low cost of living, top public schools, and a low jobless rate. Rochester is a global city with sufficiency status. Topic: History. The Seneca tribe of Native Americans lived in and around Rochester until they lost their claim to most of this land in the Treaty of Big Tree in 1797. Settlement before the Seneca tribe is unknown. Development of Rochester followed the American Revolution, and forced cession of their territory by the Iroquois after the defeat of Great Britain. Allied with the British, four major Iroquois tribes were forced out of New York. As a reward for their loyalty to the British Crown, they were given a large land grant on the Grand River in Canada. Rochester was founded shortly after the American Revolution by a wave of English Puritan descended immigrants from New England who were looking for new agricultural land. They would be the dominant cultural group in Rochester for over a century. On November 8, 1803, call. Nathaniel Rochester 1752-1831, Maj. Charles Carroll, and call. William Fitzhugh, Jr. (1761–1839), all of Hagerstown, Maryland, purchased a 100-acre 40 hectares tracked from the state in western New York along the Genesee River. They chose the site because its three cataracts on the Genesee offered great potential for water power. Beginning in 1811, and with a population of 15, the three founders surveyed the land and laid out streets and tracts. In 1817, the Brown brothers and other landowners joined their lands with the hundred-acre tract to form the village of Rochesterville. By 1821, Rochesterville was the seat of Monroe County. In 1823, Rochesterville consisted of 1,012 acres 4 square kilometers and 2,500 residents, and the village of Rochesterville became known as Rochester. 
Also in 1823, the Erie Canal aqueduct over the Genesee River was completed, and the Erie Canal east to the Hudson River was opened. In the early 20th century, after the advent of railroads, the presence of the canal in the center city was an obstacle, it was re-routed south of Rochester. By 1830, Rochester's population was 9,200 and in 1834, it was re-chartered as a city. Rochester was first known as the Young Lion of the West, and then as the Flower City. By 1838, Rochester was the largest flower-producing city in the United States. Having doubled its population in only ten years, Rochester became America's first boom town. In 1830–31, Rochester experienced one of the nation's biggest Protestant revivalist movements, led by Charles Finney. The revival has been noted as inspiring other revivals of the Second Great Awakening. A leading pastor in New York who was converted in the Rochester meetings gave the following account of the effects of Finney's meetings in that city. The whole community was stirred. Religion was the topic of conversation in the house, in the shop, in the office and on the street. The only theater in the city was converted into a livery stable, the only circus into a soap and candle factory. Grog shops were closed, the Sabbath was honored, the sanctuaries were thronged with happy worshippers, a new impulse was given to every philanthropic enterprise, the fountains of benevolence were opened, and men lived to good. By the mid-19th century, as the center of the wheat processing industry moved west with population and agriculture, the city became home to an expanding nursery business, giving rise to the city's second nickname, the Flower City. Nurseries ringed the city, the most famous of which was started in 1840 by immigrants Georg L. Wanger from Germany and Patrick Berry from Ireland. In 1847, Frederick Douglass founded the abolitionist newspaper The North Star in Rochester. Douglas, a former slave and an anti-slavery speaker and writer, gained a circulation of over 4,000 readers in the United States, Europe, and the Caribbean. The North Star served as a forum for abolitionist views. The Douglas home burnt down in 1872, but a marker for it is found in Highland Park off South Avenue. Susan B. Anthony, a national leader of the women's suffrage movement, was from Rochester. The 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution, which guaranteed the right of women to vote in 1920, was known as the Susan B. Anthony Amendment because of her work toward its passage, which she did not live to see. Anthony's home is a National Historic Landmark known as the National Susan B. Anthony Museum and House. At the end of the 19th century, anarchist Emma Goldman lived and worked in Rochester for several years, where she championed the cause of labor in Rochester sweatshops. Rochester was also home to significant unrest in labor, race, and anti war protests. After the Civil War, Rochester had an expansion of new industries in the late 19th century, founded by migrants to the city, including inventor and entrepreneur George Eastman, who founded Eastman Kodak, and German immigrants John Jacob Bausch and Henry Lahm, who launched Bausch and Lahm in 1861. Not only did they create new industries, but Eastman became a major philanthropist, developing and endowing the University of Rochester, its Eastman School of Music and other local institutions. In the early 20th century, Rochester became a center of the garment industry, particularly men's fashions. It was the base of Enterprises Bond Clothing Stores, Fashion Park Clothes, Hickey Freeman, and Stein Block & Co. 
The carriage maker James Cunningham and Sons founded a pioneer automobile company, Cunningham. The population reached 62,386 in 1870, 162,608 in 1900, and 295,750 in 1920. By 1950, the population had reached a high of 332,488. In 1950, the Census Bureau reported Rochester's population as 97.6% white and 2.3% black. With industrial restructuring in the later 20th century, and the decline of industry and jobs in the area, by 2018, the city's population had declined to 206,284, although the metropolitan area was considerably larger. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Rochester is at 43 degrees 9 minutes 56 seconds north 77 degrees 36 minutes 41 seconds west 43.165496, minus 77.611504. The city is about 73 miles 120 kilometers east northeast of Buffalo and about 87 miles 140 kilometers west of Syracuse and Albany. The state capital is 226 miles 360 kilometers to the east. It sits on Lake Ontario's southern shore. The Genesee River bisects the city. Toronto, Canada is northwest 168 miles 270 kilometers and New York City is about 350 miles 560 kilometers to the southeast. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 37.1 square miles, 96 square kilometers, of which 35.8 square miles, 93 square kilometers is land and 1.3 square miles, 3.4 square kilometers is water, 3.42%. Rochester's geography was formed by the ice sheets during the Pleistocene epoch. The retreating ice sheets reached a standstill at what is now the southern border of the city, melting at the same rate as they were advancing, depositing sediment along the southern edge of the ice mass. This created a line of hills, including from west to east Mount Hope, the hills of Highland Park, Pinnacle Hill, and Cobbs Hill. Because the sediment of these hills was deposited into a proglacial lake, they are stratified and classified as a came delta. A brief retreat and re-advance of the ice sheet onto the delta deposited unstratified material there, creating a rare hybrid structure called Came Moraine. The ice sheets also created Lake Ontario, one of the five freshwater Great Lakes, the Genesee River with its waterfalls and gorges, Arondacoit Bay, Sodus Bay, Braddock Bay, Menden Ponds, numerous local streams and ponds, the Ridge, and the nearby Finger Lakes. Rochester has 537 miles 864 kilometers of public streets, 585 miles 941 kilometers of water mains, 44 vehicular and 8 pedestrian bridges, 11 public libraries, 2 police stations one for the east side, one for the west, and 15 firehouses. The principal source of water is Hemlock Lake, which, with its watershed, is owned by the state of New York. Other water sources include Canada's Lake and Lake Ontario. The 30-year annual average snowfall is just above 100 in 2.5 meters. 
The monthly daily average ranges from 24.7 degrees Fahrenheit minus 4.1 degrees Celsius in January to 70.8 degrees Fahrenheit 21.6 degrees Celsius in July. The high amount of snow Rochester receives can be accounted for by the city's proximity to Lake Ontario see Lake Effect. Topic. Climate Rochester lies in the humid continental climate zone and has four distinct seasons, with cold and snowy winters, temperatures drop to 0 degrees Fahrenheit on 4.2 nights annually. Autumn features brilliant foliage colors, and summer sees generally comfortable temperatures that usually stay in the range of 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit 27 to 29 degrees Celsius accompanied by moderate to high humidity. There are only 6.9 days annually of highs more than 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius. Precipitation is plentiful year-round. Topic: Demographics. According to the 2010 census, the city's population was 43.7% white or white American, 41.7% black, 0.5% American Indian and Alaska Native, 3.1% Asian, 0.0% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 6.6% from some other race and 4.4% from two or more races. 16.4% of the total population were Hispanic or Latino of any race, mostly made up of Puerto Ricans. Non Hispanic whites were 37.6% of the population in 2010, compared to 80.2% in 1970. Over the course of the past 50 years, Rochester has become a major center for immigration, particularly for arrivals from Eastern and Southeastern Europe. Europe, Sub-Saharan Africa and the Caribbean. Rochester has the highest percentage of Puerto Ricans of any major city in the United States, one of the four largest Turkish-American communities, one of the largest Jamaican-American communities in any major U.S. city and a large concentration of Polish-Americans along with nearby Buffalo, New York. In addition, Rochester is ranked number nine in the nation for the largest Italian population in the United States. In 1997, Rochester was reported to have the largest per capita deaf population in the United States. This is attributed to the fact Rochester is home to the National Technical Institute for the Deaf. There were 88,999 households of which 30.0% had children under 18 living with them, 25.1% were married couples living together, 23.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 47.0% were non-families. Of all households, 37.1% were made up of individuals and 9.2% had someone living alone 65 or older. The average household size was 2.36 and the average family size was 3.19. The city population was 28.1% under 18, 11.6% from 18 to 24, 32.2% from 25 to 44, 18.1% from 45 to 64, and 10.0% who were 65 or older. The median age was 31. For every 100 females, there were 91.6 males. For every 100 females 18 and over, there were 87.3 males. 
The median income for a city household was $27,123, and the median family income was $31,257. Males had a median income of $30,521, versus $25,139 for females. The per capita income for the city was $15,588. About 23.4% of families and 25.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 37.5% of those under age 18 and 15.4% of those age 65 or over. Religion By the 1920s and 1930s, Rochester's population was roughly half Protestant and half Catholic, although a significant Jewish population also was present. In 1938, there were 214 religious congregations, two-thirds of which had been founded after 1880. At that time, the city added, on average, 2.6 new congregations per year, many founded by immigrants from Southern and Eastern Europe. During peak immigration from 1900 to 1920 dozens of churches were established, including four Roman Catholic churches with Italian clergy, three Roman Catholic churches with Slavic clergy, Polish Baptist Church, fifteen Jewish synagogues, and four small Italian Protestant mission churches, Baptist, Evangelical, Methodist, and Presbyterian. Topic. Crime In 2012, Rochester had 2,061 reported violent crimes, compared to a national average rate of 553.5 violent crimes in cities with populations larger than 100,000. That same year, Rochester had 827 personal crime incidents and 11,054 property crime incidents. In 2018, Rochester reported 28 murders 13.9 per 100,000 residents. In 2012 there were 95 sexual assaults, 816 robberies, 1,104 aggravated assault, 2,978 burglaries, 7,694 larceny thefts, 111 forcible rape, 622 auto thefts and 152 arson. Topic economy Rochester is home to a number of Fortune 1000 and international businesses, including Eastman Kodak, as well as several national and regional companies, such as CareStream Health. Xerox was founded in Rochester in 1906 as the Haloid Company, and retains a significant presence in Rochester, although its headquarters are now in Norwalk, Connecticut. Bausch and Lomb moved to Bridgewater, New Jersey in 2014. The Gannett Newspaper Company and Western Union were founded in Rochester by Frank Gannett and Hiram Sibley respectively but have since moved to other cities. The median single-family house price was $135,000 in the second quarter of 2015 in Greater Rochester, an increase of 5.4% from a year earlier, according to the National Association of Realtors. Topic: <laughs> High Technology. Tech Valley, the technologically recognized area of eastern New York State, has spawned a western offshoot into the Rochester and Finger Lakes areas. 
Since the 2000s, as established companies in Rochester downsized, Rochester and Monroe County's economy has been redirected toward high technology, with new, smaller companies providing the seed capital necessary for business foundation. The Rochester area is important in the field of photographic processing and imaging as well as incubating an increasingly diverse high-technology sphere encompassing STEM fields, in part the result of private startup enterprises collaborating with major academic institutions, including the University of Rochester and Cornell University. Other organizations such as High Tech Rochester provide local startups startups with mentorship, office space, and other resources. Given the high prevalence of imaging and optical science among the industry and the universities, Rochester is known as the world capital of imaging. The Institute of Optics of the University of Rochester and the Rochester Institute of Technology in nearby Henrietta have imaging programs. In 2006, the University of Rochester became the Rochester area's largest employer, surpassing the Eastman Kodak Company. <laughs> <laughs> Food and beverage One food product Rochester calls its own is the White Hot a variant of the hot dog or smoked bratwurst made by the local Swigels Company and other companies. Another local specialty is the garbage plate, a trademark of Nick Tahau Hots that traditionally includes macaroni salad, home fries, and two hot dogs or cheeseburgers topped with mustard, onions, and their famous meat hot sauce. Many area restaurants feature copies or variations with the word plate, commonly used as a general term. Rochester was home to French's Mustard, whose address was 1 Mustard Street. The ragu brand of pasta sauce used to be produced in Rochester. Some of the original facility still exists and produces products for other labels including Newman's own as private label foods. Other local franchises include, Bill Gray's a hamburger, hot dog joint that lays claim to having the world's greatest cheeseburger. Debellas, Tom Walls, American specialty manufacturing producers of Boss Sauce, Salvatore's Old Fashioned Pizzeria, Mark's Pizzeria, Pontillo's Pizzeria, Perry's Pizzeria, Jeremiah's Tavern, and Abbott's Frozen Custard. Dinosaur Barbecue, which originated in Syracuse, also operates its second franchise downtown in the former Lehigh Valley Railroad Station on the Genesee River. <laughs> <laughs> Breweries Genesee Brewing Company Rohrbach Brewing Company the Lost Borough Brewing Co. Three Heads Brewing Rock Brewing Co. Iron Tug Brewing Swiftwater Brewing Company Fifth Frame Brewing Topic. Major shopping centers Rochester Public Market Village Gate Square Topic Former Shopping Centers Midtown Plaza closed as of July 29, 2008 after years of slow deterioration. The site now has mixed use residential and commercial buildings. One lot referred to as Parcel 5 remains undeveloped with proposals for theaters. Reynolds Arcade remains in use as office building. Topic: Tallest buildings. 
As of June 2016, the top 10 tallest buildings in the city are Topic companies Numerous companies have corporate headquarters in Rochester. Abbott's Frozen Custard, Ice Cream Franchise Carestream Health, Health Equipment and Technology Eastman Kodak, Printing and Photography ESL Federal Credit Union, New York State's largest credit union in assets Exilus Blue Cross Blue Shield, Insurance Frontier Telephone of Rochester, Communications Genesee Brewing Company, Brewery Gleason Corporation, Gear Equipment Manufacturing Hickey Free Freeman, handmade suits and clothing, including the Bobby Jones Line Hillside Family of Agencies, Social Services Non-Profit Home Properties, Apartment and Properties Firm Monroe Muffler Brake, Auto Care Chain North American Breweries, Alcoholic Beverage Company Rochester Gas and Electric, Utilities Rochester Regional Health, Healthcare Rohrbach Brewing Company, Microbrewery View 6, Virtual, Augmented reality wearable technology company locally founded corporations that move their headquarters to other states include Bausch and Lomb, Champion, French's, Gannett, Schlegel, Western Union, and Xerox. Humor website eBombs World was also started in Rochester. Companies that move their headquarters from Rochester to the suburbs include Wegmans, Gates, New York, and Paychex Penfield, New York. Topic: <laughs> Government. Rochester is governed by a mayor serving as chief executive of city government and a city council consisting of four district members and five at-large members. Mayor Lovely A. Warren was first elected mayor in November 2013 defeating incumbent Thomas Richards in both a Democratic primary and general election. Warren took office in January 2014 becoming both the youngest and first female mayor in Rochester history. The city's police department is the Rochester Police Department, headed by Chief of Police Michael L. Simonelli. Neighborhood service centers Enforcement of property code violations in Rochester had been handled by the Neighborhood Empowerment Team, or NET. Rather than utilizing a centralized code enforcement office, ten sectors in Rochester were assigned a total of six NET offices by the city government. However, there had been complaints about the lack of consistency in the manner and severity of enforcement between NET offices. On July 16, 2008, the city announced two of the NET offices would be closed and another relocated, due to what it had found to be the high cost and low value of operating the decentralized network. Following the restructuring, the remaining offices were renamed Neighborhood Service Centers, or NSCs. There is now one office per city quadrant which resolve quality of life issues, work with neighborhood groups, and pave the way for appropriate housing and economic development. Most code enforcement processes were consolidated into the Bureau of Inspection and Compliance within the Department of Neighborhood and Business Development located centrally in City Hall. Topic. Representation at other levels of government Topic. Representation at the federal level The city is covered by New York's 25th Congressional District currently represented by Democrat Joe Morell of Arondacoit, Monroe County in Congress. From 1987 until 2018 the city was represented by longtime Democrat Louise M. Slaughter of Fairport, Monroe County in Congress.
Topic: Representation at the state level. Topic: New York State Senate. After redistricting based on the 2010 United States Census, the city was split between three state Senate districts. <laughs> New York State Assembly after redistricting based on the 2010 United States Census, Monroe County was split between three state assembly districts. Topic: Courts. Rochester is part of the Seventh Judicial District of the New York Supreme Court. The Fourth Department of the New York Supreme Court, Appellate Division. Topic: Representation at the county level. Rochester is represented by Districts 7, 16, and 21 to 29 in the Monroe County Legislature. Topic Fire Department The City of Rochester is protected by approximately 500 professional firefighters in the Rochester Fire Department RFD. The RFD is the third largest fire department in the state of New York. It operates from 16 fire stations throughout the city, under the command of two battalion chiefs and a deputy chief per shift. The RFD operates 13 engines, 6 trucks, 1 heavy rescue, 2 hazardous material units, and a salvage unit Rochester Protectives, as well as many other special and support units. There are 87 line division members working each shift, including chief officers and fire investigation not including staff divisions such as fire safety, the training academy and supply depot. The RFD responds to around 40,000 emergency calls annually. Approximately 90% of RFD personnel are certified NY State EMTs and approximately 50% of the calls each year are for EMS. The RFD also operates its own apparatus repair division at the Public Safety Training Facility. The Chief of Department is Willie Jackson. Cityscape Topic Principal Suburbs Suburbs of the city include Brighton, Brockport, Chile, Churchville, East Rochester, Fairport, Gates, Greece, Hamlin, Henrietta, Hilton, Honeyoy Falls, Arondacoit, Macedon, Menden, Ogden, Parma, Penfield, Pittsford, Riga, Rush, Scottsville, Spencerport, Victor, Walworth, Webster, and Wheatland. Topic: Neighborhoods. Rochester has a number of neighborhoods, including the 19th Ward, 14,621 Community, Beechwood, Browncroft, Cascade District, Cobb's Hill, Charlotte, Corn Hill, Dewey, Dutchtown, Edgerton, Elwanger Berry, German Village, Grove Place, High Falls District, Highland Park, Maplewood, 10th Ward, Marketview Heights, Mount Reed, North Winton Village, Neighborhood. Of the Arts, Noda, Lyell Otis, Park Avenue, Plymouth Exchange, Southwest, East End, South Wedge, Swilburg, Susan B. Anthony, University Atlantic, Upper Monroe, and more are all recognized communities with various neighborhood associations. There are also living spaces in downtown Rochester. Brown Croft 
The Browncroft neighborhood is built on the former nursery grounds of the Brown Brothers Nursery. The business district situated on Winton Road has a mix of restaurants and shops. The neighborhood borders the nearby Tryon and Ellison Parks. The Browncroft Historic District was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2004. Topic: 14,621 Community. Extending across much of the north central cityscape of Rochester, now including parts of the old Hudson Avenue and North Clinton neighborhoods, is the 14,621 community. Today, this neighborhood is predominantly black and Hispanic. This community was at the center of the 1964 riots. The riots did produce some benefits in the long run. The north central area has been the site of ongoing urban renewal projects since the late 1960s, and, as noted by July 64 filmmakers Carvin Eisen and Chris Christopher, inspired the development of such important black organizations such as the Urban League of Rochester as well as Rochester's first anti poverty organization, Action for a Better Community, and Black Community Activist Organization Freedom, Integration, God, Honor, Today FIGHT founded by Rev. Franklin Florence and Delian McEwen, the latter was its first president. The establishment of this program came through the assistance of Saul Alinsky. The neighborhood is still considered the most dangerous part of Rochester and is blighted by crime, drugs and gang activity. <laughs> Lyell Otis Historically, an Italian-American neighborhood, this area of the city of Rochester is now home to citizens from across the globe. There have recently been efforts to improve the quality of life in this neighborhood, as the area has opportunity for redevelopment and renewal. The Lyell Otis neighborhood is in the city of Rochester, New York, in the northwest quadrant. Bordering the suburbs of Gates and Greece, the Lyell Otis boundaries are the Erie Canal, the city line on the west, Lyell Avenue on the south, Driving Park Boulevard on the north, and the old subway bed, long since filled in, which previously was where the Erie Canal flowed, on the east, almost to Dewey Avenue, but not quite. Topic 19th Ward The 19th Ward is a southwest neighborhood bordered by Genesee Street, West Avenue, the Erie Canal, and is across the river from the University of Rochester. Now known by its slogan, Urban by Choice, in the early 19th century the area was known as Castle Town, after Castle Inn, a tavern run by Colonel Isaac Castle. By the early 1820s, however, the area was overshadowed by developments in the north that would become downtown Rochester. Due to a tumultuous bend in the Genesee River, the area was home to skilled boatsmen who assisted boats traveling north to Rochester and the area was consequently known during this time as the Rapids. In the 1890s, as Rochester expanded, the area became a prosperous residential area that thrived as the city grew. By 1930 it was a booming residential area for doctors, lawyers, and skilled workers, it includes the still prestigious Sibley Tract development. Homes in the originally upper-class neighborhood typically have gumwood trim, leaded glass, fireplaces, hardwood floors, and open porches. 
In the 1960s, property values fell as the population of Rochester did, the area experienced white flight accelerated by school busing, blockbusting, and race riots downtown, and crime increased, with violence, drug use, and neglected property further diminishing property values. To respond to these issues, the 19th Ward has had an active community association since 1965 and is now known for its ethnic, class, and cultural diversity. The Brooks Landing development along the Genesee River at the former Rapids is bringing new economic development to the community, including an 88-room hotel, 20,000 square foot, 1,900 square meters office building, 11,000 square feet, 1,000 square meters of new retail, two restaurants, and Boulder Coffee Shop. Residential development is also increasing with completion of a 170-bed University of Rochester student housing tower at Brooks Landing in 2014, and 29 new market-rate homes nearby. Located in the 19th Ward are the Arvine Heights Historic District, Chile West Historic District, Inglewood and Thurston Historic District, and Sibley Elmdorf Historic District, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Charlotte Charlotte Char is a lake-front community in Rochester bordering Lake Ontario. It is home to Ontario Beach Park, commonly known as Charlotte Beach, which is a popular summer destination for Rochesterians. A new terminal was built in 2004 for the Rochester to Toronto ferry service and was later sold after the ferry ceased operations in 2005. The Port of Rochester Terminal still exists and has since been revamped. It now houses the restaurant California Rollin, a coffee shop named the Nutty Bavarian along with offices for the marina created around it. In summer 2016 a proposed redevelopment project for the Port of Rochester was put on hold due to the developers failing to meet financial obligations as set by the city. Corn Hill The Corn Hill neighborhood near downtown is one of the nation's best preserved Victorian neighborhoods and a center for art. It is also home to Corn Hill Landing, a shopping and housing strip on the Genesee River. The annual Corn Hill Art Festival, a two-day event held on the weekend after 4 July, is one of the city's most popular gatherings for the display of art. Corn Hill is one of Rochester's smaller neighborhoods. The neighborhood name came about because allegedly in the early settlement days, those traveling the fast-flowing Genesee River could see a large-sized rolling hill covered with corn which had been planted by the immigrating Scots and English. By the late 1800s and well into the 1920s, Cornhill was home to some of the wealthiest families. Situated on the southern edge of downtown, the neighborhood allowed for a short carriage ride or walk to the banks and businesses of New York's third largest city. <laughs> Upper Monroe Less than one and one-half miles from downtown, Upper Monroe encompasses 17 streets with 1,400 households and approximately 3,300 residents. Cobbs Hill Park, a sandy glacial hill with a remnant oak grove and a flattened peak with the city's reservoir, forms the southeastern boundary of this neighborhood. Highland Park, renowned for its annual Lilac Festival, also is within walking distance. 
The Upper Monroe Neighborhood Association UMNA, is a not-for-profit advocacy group representing the residents and property owners of the Upper Monroe neighborhood. Its goals are to ascertain the needs and concerns of the neighborhood and take positive action to address those needs and concerns. The neighborhood is also home to a number of small, local businesses including, Hardpacked, Huey's Hair Company, Monty's Crown, Jeremiah's Tavern, and Park Avenue Pets. <laughs> East End The East End is a residential neighborhood in downtown Rochester but also the main nightlife district. The Eastman Theatre, the Rochester Philharmonic and the Eastman School of Music are in the East End, along with the Little Theatre, an independent film theatre, Hart's local grocers and many clubs, bars and high-end restaurants. Topic. Maplewood Maplewood is a northwest neighborhood south of Eastman Business Park and between the Genesee River and Dewey Avenue. Much of the area's charm comes from the use of parkways as well as parks and green space bordering the river. These features are the result of plans designed by Frederick Law Olmsted. The Maplewood Rose Garden is the second largest rose test garden in the United States. The Maplewood Historic District was listed in the National Register of Historic Places in 1997. Topic: <laughs> North Winton Village. The North Winton neighborhood is made up of spacious and quiet residential streets, small essential businesses and professional services and an 82-acre wilderness. Its neighborhood boundaries extend north to Colburn Road, Merchants Road, south to Blossom Road, east to North Winton Road and west to Culver Road. There are two neighborhood associations within North Winton Village. The North Winton Village Neighborhood Association, joins businesses and residents together. Its major goals include, "...neighborhood preservation, beautification, pride in home ownership and patronization of neighborhood businesses." Its motto, Live, shop and beautify North Winton Village. In 2011, residents in an area bounded by Culver Road, East Main Street, Garson Avenue and Jersey Street joined together to create the Northeast Main Neighbors United Today, NEMNU's mission is to maintain, improve, and enhance the quality of life in the neighborhood by addressing safety issues, providing social activities, communicating with residents and local government, promoting beautification projects, linking needs with resource opportunities, and developing cooperative efforts with businesses and neighborhood groups. The Pocket Neighborhood is a microneighborhood enclosed within the larger North Winton Village neighborhood. It is composed of six streets, Kansas Street, Akron Street, Newcroft Park, Woodstock Road, Mayfield Street, a portion of East Main Street, and Atlantic Avenue. The Pocket has its own neighborhood association and events, including maintenance of Linear Park. Topic. Park Avenue and the Neighborhood of the Arts Lining the streets of Park Avenue are cafes, shops, pubs, and restaurants. In a broader view, the total area surrounding University Avenue—known as the Neighborhood of the Arts—is one of the most culture and art-rich sections of the city. 
Located here are the Village Gate, Memorial Art Gallery, School of the Arts, Rochester Museum and Science Center, Rochester Public Market, Art Walk, George Eastman House, and high-end residential streets such as Granger Place, East Boulevard, Douglas Road, Westminster Road, and Berkeley Street. Topic. Plymouth Exchange Also known by the acronym PLEX, the Plymouth Exchange neighborhood provides affordable housing for lower-income families. Also home to many University of Rochester students, both grad and undergrad, it has a richly knit community and an active neighborhood association. Topic. South Wedge The South Wedge neighborhood dates back to 1827, prior to the incorporation of Rochester as a city. The area is bordered by Byron Street in the north, South Clinton Avenue and Interstate 490 on its east, Highland Park on its south, and the Genesee River on the west. Construction of the Erie Canal the old canal bed which went by the neighborhood is now used by Interstate 490 brought workers to the area, who set up camps for the months it took to complete this section of the canal. This is one of the neighborhoods in Rochester undergoing the process of gentrification, partially due to a recent increase in homeownership in the area. The Linden South Historic District in South Wedge was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2009. Topic Susan B. Anthony Neighborhood This neighborhood is a preservation district on the National Register of Historic Places, known as the Madison Square West Main Street Historic District. It encompasses a three and one half block area within walking distance from downtown Rochester, and comprises residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. The center of the residential area is Susan B. Anthony Square, a 0.84 acre 3, square meters park shown on city maps from 1839, which was designed by the famous Olmsted brothers. Also within the neighborhood is the Susan B. Anthony House, which was the suffragist's residence for the last decades of her life, now a museum, as well as the Cunningham Carriage Factory built in 1848 on Canal Street. James Cunningham Son & Co. sold more carriages in the United States in the 1880s than all other manufacturers combined. The Canal Street property, which still stands, remained Cunningham's headquarters for more than 100 years. Topic: <laughs> Swilburg. This wedge-shaped piece of the city is bordered by S. Clinton Avenue on the west, Field Street on the south, and Interstate 490 on the east. The neighborhood received its moniker when a 19th-century Rochester pig farmer utilized the area to collect swill for his swine. The area has one of the highest rates of homeownership in the city. The local elementary school is number 35, Field Street, which often sponsors a community garden in its courtyard on Pinnacle Street. Topic. Market View Heights Running east from Union Street just north of Main Street, Market View Heights is best known as the location of the public market, which offers a variety of groceries and other goods from marketeers from farms and shops from surrounding areas, primarily on the weekends. Topic. Homestead Heights Homestead Heights is in northeast Rochester. 
It is bordered on the west by Goodman Street, on the north by Clifford Avenue, on the south by Bay Street, and on the east by Culver Road, which is also the border between the city and the town of Arondacoit. The neighborhood is a mix of residential and commercial. Real estate values are higher on the eastern end of the neighborhood near the Arondacoit border. The neighborhood is approximately 2-2-2-1 quarter of a mile west of the Arondacoit Bay. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. The city of Rochester is served by the Rochester City School District, which encompasses all public primary and secondary education. The district is governed by a popularly elected seven-member board of education. There are also parochial and private primary and secondary schools within the city. Rochester City Schools consistently post below average results when compared to the rest of New York State, although on-time graduation rates have improved significantly during the past three years. However, the high school graduation rate for African American males is lower in Rochester than in any city in the United States 9%. Charter schools in the city include Rochester Academy Charter School. <laughs> <laughs> Colleges and universities Rochester and the surrounding region host a high concentration of colleges and universities which drive much of the economic growth in the five-county area. The University of Rochester is the only large research institution primarily within the city limits, although Monroe Community College and SUNY Brockport operate campuses downtown. The Highland Park neighborhood is home to Colgate Rochester Crozer Divinity School, part of whose facility is leased by Ithaca College's Department of Physical Therapy and an office maintained by the Cornell University School of Industrial and Labor Relations. Topic University of Rochester The University of Rochester is the metropolitan area's oldest and most prominent institution of higher learning, and one of the country's top research centers. U of R was ranked as the 32nd best university in the nation by U.S. News and World Report for 2014 and was deemed one of the new Ivies by Newsweek. The nursing school has received many awards and honors and the Simon School of Business is also ranked in the top 30 in many categories. The university is also home to the Eastman School of Music, which was ranked the number one music school in America. It was founded and endowed by George Eastman in his years as a philanthropist. He also contributed greatly to the University of Rochester from wealth based on the success of Eastman Kodak. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Former Colleges. Four institutions began operations in the city and later moved to Rochester's inner ring suburbs. The Empire State College Rochester Learning Center moved from its Prince Street address to Arondacoit in 1999. Monroe Community College moved from Alexander Street to Brighton in 1968. Rochester Institute of Technology moved from South Washington Street to Henrietta also in 1968. St. Bernard's School of Theology and Ministry moved from space leased in Colgate Rochester Crozer Divinity School to Pittsford in 2003. Rochester was host of the Barleywood Female University, a short lived women's college from 1852 to 1853. The Lutheran Seminary that became Wagner College was established in the city in 1883 and remained for some 35 years before moving to Staten Island. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Secondary Education. The Rochester City School District operates 13 public secondary schools, each serving grades 7 to 12. In addition, there is one charter secondary school. Benjamin Franklin High School Charlotte High School Dr. Freddie Thomas High School East High School Frederick Douglass Preparatory School All City High James Monroe High School Nathaniel Rochester Community School Northwest College Preparatory School School of Business, Finance and Entrepreneurship at Edison School of Engineering and Manufacturing at Edison School of Imaging and Information Technology at Edison School of Applied Technology at Edison School of the Arts School School Without Walls Thomas Jefferson High School Wilson Magnet High School Charter Schools Rochester Academy Charter School Young Women's College Preprivate Schools McQuaid Jesuit Aquinas Institute Former Schools Nazareth Academy John Marshall High School Topic Culture and Recreation The City of Rochester is home to numerous cultural institutions. These include the Garth Fagan Dance, the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra, the Rochester City Ballet, George Eastman Museum International Museum of Photography and Film, Memorial Art Gallery, Rochester Contemporary Art Center, Rochester Museum and Science Center, the Rochester Broadway Theatre League, Strong National Museum of Play, the Strasenberg Planetarium, Hochstein School of Music and Dance, the Auditorium Theater, and numerous arts organizations. Jiva Theater Center is the city's largest professional theater. The East End Theater is on East Main Street in the Theater District. The Rochester Association of Performing Arts is a non-profit organization that provides educational theater classes to the community. Topic. Nightlife Rochester's East End District, located downtown, is well known as the center of the city's nightlife. It is the stopping point for East Avenue, which along with the surrounding streets is crowded with nightclubs, lounges, coffee shops, bars, and high-end restaurants. The Eastman School of Music, one of the top musical institutes in the nation, and its auditorium are also within the neighborhood. The Eastman Theater now plays host to the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra and other musical, drama events. There are other, smaller enclaves of after-hours activity scattered across the city. Southeast is the heart of Rochester's thriving arts scene, particularly in and around the Park Avenue neighborhood, which is known for its many coffee shops, cafes, bistros and boutique shops. Nearby on University Avenue can be found several plazas, like the Village Gate, which give space to trendy bars, restaurants and art galleries that stay open late into the night. Monroe Avenue, several streets over, is packed with pubs, small restaurants, smoke shops, theaters and several clubs as well as cigar bars and hookah lounges. All of these neighborhoods are home to many artists, musicians, students and Rochester's large LGBT community. The South Wedge District, directly below downtown, has seen significant gentrification in recent years and now is the site of many trendy cafes and bars that serve the student community attending the University of Rochester several blocks away from the heart of the neighborhoods. The Wedge is quickly becoming one of the most vibrant areas within the city limits, its numerous night spots keeping the streets busy with college students and young professionals many of whom live there due to the abundance of affordable housing, thriving nightlife and proximity to many of the region's major hospitals, parks and colleges. Topic. 
Park lands Rochester's parks include Highland, Cobbs Hill, Durand Eastman, Genesee Valley, Maplewood, Edgerton, Seneca, and Ontario Beach. Four of these were designed by landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. The city's Victorian era Mount Hope Cemetery includes the final resting places of Susan B. Anthony, Frederick Douglass, George B. Selden, and many others. Other scenic sites are Holy Sepulchre and neighboring Riverside Cemetery. Throughout its history, Rochester has acquired several nicknames. It has been known as the World's Image Center, the Flower City, the Flower City, as a legacy of its time as the Flower City. Rochester hosts a lilac festival for 10 days every May, when nearly 400 varieties of lilacs bloom, and 100,000 visitors arrive. Parks of Rochester <laughs> Festivals Rochester hosts a number of cultural festivals every year, including Established in 2002, the Rochester International Jazz Festival is one of the largest jazz festivals in America. It takes place in late June at dozens of clubs, concert halls and free outdoor stages throughout downtown Rochester. Past performers include Herbie Hancock, Sonny Rollins, Dave Brubeck, Oscar Peterson, Chick Corea, and Wynton Marsalis. A record 205,000 people attended the event in 2016. The 360,365 Film Festival, formerly the Rochester High Falls International Film Festival, held at the George Eastman Houses Dryden Theater and the Little Theater downtown. Several films screened at 360-365 have been honored at the Golden Globes and the Academy Awards. Rochester International Film Festival, the world's oldest continuously held short film festival. The Lilac Festival at Highland Park, which is the oldest and most popular festival in Rochester and the largest event of its kind in North America, attended by over 500,000 people annually. Established in 1898, it includes multiple attractions aside from the lilacs themselves these musical acts include the Whalers who attended in 2012 and 2014. The Rochester Fringe Festival The Corn Hill Arts Festival <laughs> Media The Democrat and Chronicle is Rochester's main daily newspaper. There are other numerous publications, and magazines that cater to many of the city's different people groups or special interests such as Insider Magazine, City Newspaper Rochester Business Journal, and The Minority Reporter. Former publications serving the city include the Rochester Post Express and Rochester Evening Journal. Rochester is also served by several local television and radio stations, with WROC-TV as the oldest television station serving the Rochester metro area. Topic points of interest Asbury First United Methodist Church Blue Cross Arena at the War Memorial Cinema Theater Cobbs Hill Park and Reservoir Eastman Business Park Elwanger Garden First Unitarian Church of Rochester, described by a Pulitzer Prize-winning architectural critic as one of the most significant works of religious architecture of the century. 
Frederick Douglass Monument Frontier Field George Eastman Museum Jiva Theatre Center High Falls and the High Falls Entertainment District Highland Park Liberty Pole Little Theatre, one of the oldest art house movie theatres in the country Maplewood Park Rose Garden Midtown Plaza, the nation's first downtown shopping mall partially demolished, Tower and Seneca buildings still stand. Mount Hope Cemetery, Rochester, the nation's first Victorian cemetery Nick Tahoe Hots featuring the Garbage Plate and a charity run in its name Ontario Beach Park and the Port of Rochester at Charlotte Rochester Broadway Theatre League at the Auditorium Theatre Rochester Contemporary Art Centre Rochester's Public Market Rochester Riverside Convention Centre St. Joseph's Church and Rectory Rochester, New York Seneca Park Zoo, one of the top three family attractions in the area Strong National Museum of Play, nation's second largest children's museum housing the National Toy Hall of Fame Strasenberg Planetarium, part of the Rochester Museum and Science Center Susan B. Anthony House Times Square Building, noted for its 42 feet tall Wings of Progress sculpture. University Avenue and Park Avenue Artistic Districts University of Rochester University of Rochester Arboretum University of Rochester's Eastman School of Music and Eastman Theatre Water Street Music Hall Topic sports Rochester was named the top minor league sports market in the country by Street and Smith Sports Business Journal in July 2005, the number 10 best golf city in America by Golf Magazine in 2007, and the fifth best sports town in the country by Scarborough Research in September 2008. Topic. Professional sports Rochester has several professional sports teams In addition, there are numerous other amateur and club sports such as rowing and rugby. Rochester and its surrounding area also has a rich golf history and has hosted numerous professional tournaments on its local golf courses. The city also boasts other facilities such as 13 full-time recreation centers, 19 swimming programs, 3 artificial ice rinks, 66 softball, baseball fields, 47 tennis courts, 5 football fields, 7 soccer fields, and 43 outdoor basketball courts. Topic: College Sports. Rochester is the largest metropolitan statistical area in the U.S. which does not include at least one college or university participating at the NCAA Division I level in all sports. Almost all area college sports are played at the NCAA Division III level. The only exceptions are the RIT men's and women's ice hockey teams, which compete at the Division I level. RIT's other sports, as well as the institute as a whole, are classified as being part of Division III. The men's team made it to the NCAA Frozen Four in 2010 and the women's team won the Division III National Championship in 2012, just before switching over to Division I. As of the 2014–2015 academic year, the only college in the Rochester area not officially classified at the Division III level is Roberts Wesleyan College, which completed its transition from membership in the National Christian College Athletic Association NCCAA. Roberts Wesleyan was granted full membership in NCAA Division II beginning with the 2014–15 year. Topic. Transportation <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Maritime transport. There is marine freight service at the port of Rochester on Lake Ontario, which is connected to the Atlantic Ocean via the St. Lawrence Seaway. A short-lived, high-speed passenger, vehicle ferry Spirit of Ontario I built in Australia, nicknamed the Breeze or the Fast Ferry, linked Rochester to Toronto across Lake Ontario. Canadian American Transportation Systems CATS was the company in charge of the fast ferry operations. The Spirit of Ontario I had a delayed arrival on April 29, 2004 as a result of hitting a pier in New York City on April 5, 2004 and was finally officially christened on June 16, 2004 at the Port of Rochester. The fast ferry was bought by the city of Rochester in an attempt to save the project. The fast ferry operated between June 17, 2004, and December 12, 2005, and cost the city $42.5 million. The project was initially well received by inhabitants of Rochester. Considerable effort was spent by inhabitants of Rochester to build up the waterfront to embrace the idea as well as to capitalize on potential tourism which was estimated to be an additional 75,000 tourists per month. In the first three months of operation the fast ferry had carried about 140,000 people between Rochester and Toronto. A second fast ferry was proposed by CATS on August 27, 2004 which would have cost an additional $100 million. There were a number of problems concerning the ship's engine, the lack of mutual building up of waterfronts in Toronto and the inability of the city to put pressure on the company responsible for the production of the fast ferry. This resulted in the failure of the project. It was sold to Ford Reader AC Touristic, a German company, for $30 million. <laughs> Air transport Rochester is served by the Greater Rochester International Airport GRIA. Daily scheduled air service is provided by American, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, and United. In 2010, the GRIA was ranked the 14th least expensive airport in the United States by cheap flights. This was considered a major achievement for the county and the airport authority. As recently as 2003, Rochester's ticket prices were among the highest in the country, ranking as high as fourth in 1999. FedEx founder Fred Smith has stated in numerous articles that Xerox's development of the copier, and its need to quickly get parts to customers, was one of the economic issues that led him to pioneer the overnight delivery business in 1971. Because Xerox manufactured its copiers in Rochester, the city was one of the original 25 cities FedEx served on its first night of operations on April 17, 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Rails and mass transit Rail service to Rochester is provided by the Louise M. Slaughter Rochester Station, served by Amtrak's Empire Service between New York City and Niagara Falls, the Maple Leaf between New York City and Toronto, and the Lake Shore Limited between New York City, Boston and Chicago. Prior to 1966, Rochester had a smaller version of New York City's Grand Central Terminal. It was among Claude Fayette Bragdon's best works in Rochester, New York. The current station is modeled after Bragdon's work and named in honor of former longtime Congresswoman Louise Slaughter. Rochester used to be a major stop on several railroad lines. 
It was served by the New York Central Railroad which served Chicago and Buffalo to the west and Albany and New York City to the east and southeast. The Buffalo, Rochester and Pittsburgh Railway absorbed by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad served Buffalo and Pittsburgh until 1955. A rail route to Salamanca in southern New York State afforded connections in Salamanca to southwestern and southeastern New York State. The last long-distance train in a southern direction was the Northern Express, Southern Express that went to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania via Canandaigua, Elmira and Williamsport. Service ended in 1971. Also serving Rochester was the Erie Railroad and Lehigh Valley Railroad. Amtrak passenger and freight lines provide rail service to Rochester. Rochester has intercity and transcontinental bus service via Greyhound and Trailways. Local bus service in Rochester and its county suburbs is provided by the Rochester Genesee Regional Transportation Authority via its Regional Transit Service subsidiary. RTS also provides suburban service outside the immediate Rochester area and runs smaller transportation systems in outlying counties, such as Watts Wayne Area Transportation System. All RTS routes are based out of the RTS Transit Center on Mortimer Street. From 1927 to 1957, Rochester had a light rail underground transit system called the Rochester Subway. It was the smallest city in the world to have one. The subway which was operated by the Rochester Transit Corporation was shut down in 1956. The eastern half of the subway past Court Street became the Eastern Expressway with the western end of the open cut being filled in 1976. The tunnel was last used for freight service by Gannett Company to bring paper to the printing presses for the Democrat and Chronicle in 1997. Over the years there have been privately sponsored proposals put forth that encourage the region to support a new system, possibly using some of the old tunnel. One includes converting the Broad Street Bridge Tunnel. The former canal aqueduct into an enhanced pedestrian corridor, which would also include a Rochester Transportation Museum, and a tram system. The former canal and subway tunnel have become a frequent source of debate. Homeless people use the tunnels for shelter. The city has considered multiple solutions for the space including recreating a canal way, putting the subway system back in or filling the tunnels entirely. The plan to fill the tunnels in completely generated criticism as the cost of filling would not generate nor leverage economic development. The western end of the tunnel was filled in to the former Baltimore and Ohio Railroad turnout in 2010 as part of a redevelopment of the above street and the eastern end of the tunnel is undergoing redevelopment. The Broad Street Aqueduct and most famous part of the tunnel is on the National Register of Historic Places being added in 1976. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Major highways and roads. Three exits off the New York State Thruway, Interstate 90, serve Rochester. Rochester has an extensive system of limited access highways called expressways or just highways, never freeways, which connects all parts of the city and the thruway. During the thruway's construction, a disagreement between the governor of New York and mayor of Rochester resulted in a bypass of downtown Rochester, leaving the city struggling for growth. Rochester's expressway system, conceived in the 1950s, was designed as two concentric circles with feeder expressways from the west, south, and east. 
The system allows for quick travel within the metropolitan area and a lack of the traffic gridlock typically found in cities of comparable size, in part this is because the system was designed to accommodate an anticipated year 2000 metro population of 5 million, whereas the present-day population is just over 1 million. The outer loop circles just outside the city limits while the former inner loop once circled around the immediate downtown area within the city the easternmost third was closed in 2015. From the west are Lake Ontario State Parkway, NY 531 and I-490, Interstate 390 feeds from the south, and NY 104, NY 441, and I-490 approach from the east. In 2016, the City of Rochester launched the Pace Car Program. Pace car drivers sign a pledge to drive within the speed limit, drive courteously, yield to pedestrians and be mindful of bicyclists and others on the street. <laughs> Later expressway proposals In the early 1970s, the Genesee Expressway Task Force, city leaders, and NYSDOT studied the feasibility of connecting the outer and inner loops with a new southern expressway. The proposed route extended north from the I-390 and I-590 interchange in Brighton, cutting through Rochester's Swilberg neighborhood. In 1972, consultants Berger Lehman Associates recommended a new busway, an expressway with dedicated bus lanes, similar to bus rapid transit. The expressway extension was never built. Three interstate highways run through the city of Rochester Interstate 390 Genesee Expressway. I-390 runs south-north, crossing I-90 and routing north through Rochester's western suburbs. Its northern end is at I-490, however it continues north as NY-390 until it merges into the Lake Ontario State Parkway. South of I-90, I-390 runs to Avoca, New York, where it meets up with U.S. Route 15 and the Southern Tier Expressway, I-86. Interstate 490 Western, Eastern Expressway I-490 runs west-east through Rochester, starting at La Roy, New York and ending in Victor, New York. It interchanges with the two other interstates in Rochester, I-390 at the western city limit and I-590 at the eastern limit, as well as connecting at both ends with the thruway, I-90 exits 47 and 45. In July 2007, a new bridge over the Genesee River was completed and named the Frederick Douglass Susan B. Anthony Memorial Bridge. Interstate 590 I-590 runs south-north through Rochester's eastern suburbs. Its southern end is at I-390, while the northern end is at I-490. The highway continues north to the shore of Lake Ontario as NY-590. In decreasing usage is the term, can of worms referring to the previously dangerous at-grade intersection of Interstate 490 and Expressway NY-590 on the eastern edge of the Rochester city limits, bordering the suburb of Brighton. In the 1980s, a multi-million dollar project created a system of overpasses and ramps that reduced the danger but resulted in the loss of certain exits. New York State Route Expressways New York State Route 104 Arondacoit Wayne County Expressway, West Ridge Road NY 104 just east of the NY 590 interchange, NY 104 becomes the Arondacoit Wayne County Expressway and crosses the Arondacoit Bay Bridge. 
On the other side of the Bay Bridge, in the town of Webster, NY 104 has exits before returning to an at-grade highway at Basket Road. New York State Route 390 NY 390 is an extension of Interstate 390 from the I-390, I-490 interchange in Gates. The northern terminus is at the Lake Ontario State Parkway in Greece, less than a mile from the Lake Ontario shoreline. New York State Route 590 NY 590 is a limited access extension of Interstate 590 at runs from an interchange between Interstate 490 and I 590 on the Brighton Rochester border. The northern terminus is at Culver Road in Arondacoit, near Sea Breeze, the western shore of Arondacoit Bay at Lake Ontario. Inner Loop the inner loop runs from Interstate 490 to Main Street on the north end and from 490 to Monroe Avenue at the south end. Formerly a loop, the eastern end was demolished and replaced with a surface road between 2014 and 2017. Unsigned reference New York State Route 940T begins and ends at Interstate 490, and the rest of the loop is part of I-490 between exits 13 and 15, including the Frederick Douglass, Susan B. Anthony Memorial Bridge. This expressway is commonly used to define the borders of downtown Rochester, New York State Parkways. Lake Ontario State Parkway Lake Ontario State Parkway travels from Lakeside Beach State Park in Carleton, Orleans County. The eastern end is at Lake Avenue in the city of Rochester in Monroe County. Topic: Notable people See list of people from Rochester, New York notable individuals who were born in and or lived in Rochester include Kodak founder George Eastman, American social reformer and women's rights activist Susan B. Anthony, African American social reformer and abolitionist Frederick Douglass, Olympic soccer player Abby Wambach, opera singer Renee Fleming, jazz singer Cab Calloway, composer Howard Hans. Johnson, Mandopop singer Wong Liham, actress Kristen Wiig, Olympic swimmer Ryan Lotched, NHL ice hockey player Ryan Callahan, YouTube personality Jenna Marbles, UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones, and professional football player Chandler Jones. Topic: <laughs> Sister cities. Rochester has 12 sister cities, as designated by Sister Cities International. They are all dedicated by a branched concrete walkway over the Genesee River, dubbed the Sister Cities Bridge known as the Frank and Janet Lamb Bridge since October 2006. See also equals equals notes